you guys have no idea how hard it was to do this hair. Um, it's not perfect, but it's cute and I love it. We're doing a first impressions on the Love Notes palette. Um, I was a bit indecisive about getting this palette pure, purely because of the pictures on Beauty Bay and how they were advertising it. It looked a bit wishy-washy, but I was like, I want to add it to my collection as like a companion palette. So like I could use these this palette with other palettes like the new romantic palette that they brought out last year. But I actually got it in the mail and when I actually looked at it, it looks nothing like Beauty Bay pictures. And I'm in their group chat with Make Me Up Missa. Um I subscribe to a Patreon and I'm in the sausage group chat and we all said the same thing, like this does not look like the photos that were advertised. Um, they don't look as washed out, they actually look really beautiful and I absolutely love this palette. Um, what gravitates towards me is this two, this bottom row here, these two rows here. Um, they intrigue me the most, but I do think these would be awesome as blush. But yeah, we're gonna get into this video. I'm in frame for once. We're gonna jump into this palette. Now, I'm not gonna put the shade on the screen because it's just a hassle, so I'll just show you guys what shades I'm gonna be using. Just put base on the eye, the one that I do on camera, but I've left the one that I'm not doing on camera unkept without any product because, like, I've just shown it creases and it sets, like, it, it goes down tacky and then sometimes it goes dry. Um, after a while so the payoff of the eyeshadow on this eye will be very different and I want it to look the exact same so yeah I'm trying to get this black fluff on my off me I need to clean this brush <laughs> where's my eyes are clean here it is this stuff is amazing I actually need to get like the refills for it because I'm almost out of it and I'm, I've been lazy recently and not actually brush my brushes I brushed wash my brushes um which I should have been doing but I just haven't because there's been so many things that I've needed to do like for my channel and the YouTube and stuff so I've not had time but I will be doing them on Sunday. So yeah. Keep getting like eye boogers and stuff. Okay, so I'm watching Tia. Well, I'm waiting for her to go live. She's going live around six with Missa. As you can see. Um for some reason it's quite dark. I think it's because she's not live yet. So I'm going to create a reddish look today. I've realised I've not really played with red that much. It was like, it's like a pinky red. So I'll be focusing like on these shades. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll be playing with these like red shades. Um, I need to get like a mirror where I can actually see. You know, that made a weird noise. So yeah, I'm going to start off with the red. I'm going to go for a basic half cup crease. This is the shade Ruby that I'm picking up. Right here. And I'm going to be putting her just around here. I'm just stamping her on. I have no doubt about the P uh, Louise Beauty Bay formula. I think... The formula is amazing. That's why, like, I never worry about their palettes. Because they have the same formula, I think, for each palette. And yeah, this, I'm only stamping a tiny bit of the colour and look at all of that. That was pigmented. So more like info on jasper my cat well he's not a cat he's a kitten he's a little three month old kitten um 
we all thought that he was like we thought like he just got abandoned by his mom and um like you know how cats just don't care for the cats anymore like they're kittens anymore like when they know they can be independent we thought it was that and like they were feral and they are feral cats um but i recently found out that um the kittens like him and his siblings were found um in a plastic bag behind a mcdonald's and the, pe the people that sold the cats like rescued them which is really nice of them um but yeah it's so sad um it made me upset but that's that explains why he's at the moment very like cautious around people and stuff like that um like he, he's not so keen on getting picked up um he, he like thinks people are gonna hurt him which is fair enough like he's been through a rough situation which is really sad but hopefully once he settles he should be fine um he is a really sweet cat and he's not aggressive at all so i'm gonna go into the shade cheeks which is this like blush shade which i really want to use as blush to be honest and i'm gonna do the 50 50 and just stamp on the color half on this i do it in every video so if you guys have subscribed before or if you're a subscriber you know i do this um if you're new here this is what i do i map out where i want my shades before i actually blend them but i always put a little bit of eyeshadow on i don't put the whole thing on though it looks like it with the ruby shade but that's just really pigmented but so is this cheek shade like i can imagine it being really pigmented like once i build the shades up but yeah this is the color it's really pretty and then i'm gonna go into the shade flush which is this pinky shade here it's lighter than cheek there's some really cool shades in here like some of them are cool pink some of them are warm pinks Sometimes I like to just pack on the blending shade, but it just depends on how I feel really, because sometimes you don't need to, but sometimes like in these cases where I'm about to build up the rest of the shades, you sort of need that there, but it is a really pretty colour, look at that. Oh, it's do something like this i've never actually really had an eye look with these colors on i thought the red was going to be red but it's like a wine color but yeah so i'm going to do some lo-fi music and build up the intensity of these shadows um i like to speed this bit up because it's kind of relaxing to see people you know so i'm gonna do that but yeah um enjoy
my blends. Where's my cut crease carver? There it is. So I'm gonna use my cut crease carver to carve out the half cut crease. I think I'm gonna use just the normal P. Louise base, but I'm not sure yet. got a bit carried away and didn't tell you guys what shades I was using um, I literally cannot remember the shade names but I took the dark like the red shimmery shade and placed it on the outer edge and I sort of blended out the cut crease I also used cook the acid rain paint in blank canvas but again I got carried away I was watching Tia and Mrs. Live and I just sort of was like living in the moment and started doing my own thing without maintaining the video which was really silly of me but hey ho um I actually tried foam applicators with shimmers and as you can tell like it does so much better than a synthetic brush um it's like a flat brush but yeah um I'm gonna be getting more foam applicators now um, obviously like you used to get these in palettes like when we were younger so now they're being put to good use <laughs> but I got these like foam applicators from body care um, here in the UK you can get them anywhere you can literally order them from Amazon but they just do the trick like massively but yeah enjoy the rest of the video Tess, I'm sorry, I have to lower the thing down. So I've done this um, and I tried applicators and it fucking works. Like it works to get shimmers on perfectly. Like normally I have to build up with brushes, but I'm a genius. So I'm gonna keep these and yeah, wow, I'm obsessed. Look at those. Let me see if I could just put it on like this. Oh, but it's still like really nice. This is the red shade that I put on. Um, I wanted to speed through the cut crease and stuff because I'm watching Tessa and Mrs. Live, and I don't want to miss a thing because I love seeing them blend eyeshadows. So yeah. Um, I'm gonna do the rest off camera and my base but so far I want to let you guys know that I absolutely love this palette Um, I didn't think I would to be honest I didn't think I'd be keen on the colour story but I actually do love the colour story of this palette so yeah I'm going to do the other side of camera and I'll get back to my final thoughts so I've done this look hopefully you can see me yeah Um, I'm still watching Tia and Missa but this is the look that I came out with I had to put my ED back on because oh, not back on but I had to put my ED on because it's gone cold in my room but what do I think of this palette I absolutely love this palette um, I think it's really cute and I actually used the cheeks shade this one right here as my blush and I'm obsessed um, I also used chandelier 
this shade right here so my inner corner my brow bone highlight my actual highlight on my cheeks and yeah i am in love with this palette i didn't think i would be which is why i'm so shocked but i genuinely recommend this this is limited edition if i remember rightly so get your hands on it if you haven't already because uh, i would and it's a great addition to my collection i do love these pastel shades right here they are great to blend out and they are amazing as blush too but yeah i'm gonna watch the rest of tia and missa um i hope to see you guys in my next video subscribe to my patreon if you haven't it is as is as little as one pound a month to subscribe just to support me and yeah um i'll see you guys in my next video and subscribe if you want more